How you doing there, my friend? Mr. DJ back again. WL, I almost said WLS. Well, a station that was just as big as WLS back in the 60s. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Excitement's choking me up. WABC from New York City, 770 on your radio dial, 50,000 watts. Of course, you had to be that powerful to cover most of New York City. Uh, swinging Sound Survey, the week of November the 11th, 1961, and we are up to number 36. Oh, my gosh. What a lost 45. If you never heard this instrumental, I'm going to tell you about it right now. Bear with me. Frank Slay and his orchestra with Flying Circus went to number 45 on Billboard's Hot 100. Frank Slay, oh my gosh, one of the big behind the scenes figures back in the day. Back in 1953, he was a piano player. He met Bob Crew and they formed a record, well, they formed a label called X, XYC and they recorded the Ray Silhouettes, a song that Frank Slay co wrote. Frank Slay would produce the majority of Freddie Boom Boom Cannon's big hits in the early 60s. And then, oh my God, talk about a variety of music. Now, he was with Swan Records when he produced Freddie Can Cannon's uh, record, hit records. Uh, I don't know the exact year. Around 1965, 1966, Frank Slay joined Uni Records, producer there. He produced... Incense and Peppermints by the Strawberry Alarm Clock. As a matter of fact, it was Frank Slay's idea to bring on 16-year-old Greg Mumford as lead singer of Incense and Peppermints. Into, he was a friend of the group, but the, the group members were not happy with the songwriter John Carter as far as the singing was concerned. So Frank Slay brought in this 16-year-old kid from another band. His name was Greg Mumford to sing lead on Incense and Peppermints. Wow, what a rock and roll caper that was. So this is it. This is Frank Slay and his orchestra. What a gem. This is Flying Circus, 1961.